Can everyone please stand for the presentation of our nation's colors? remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, you may be seated. Welcome to the class of 2021 graduation. I'm Addie Grace Porter, senior class president. I ask that we please take a moment of silence for the ones that weren't able to be with here, be with us today. All right, now can you bow your heads in prayer with me, please? Dear Lord, we come to you today and say thank you. Thank you for the wisdom you've provided our administration with to guide us through this year. We thank you for the protection you've had over this class to bring us to this special day. God, you have blessed us with so you've blessed us beyond measure, and for that we are grateful and thankful. Now, as we graduate and go our different directions to pursue our dreams and goals, we ask for your guidance and strength to achieve to help us achieve what you have planned for us. Our prayers that will bring you honor and glory in all that we do. And thank you for Jesus, and it's in his name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Addie Grace. Good morning, and welcome to the 103rd class commencement exercise and the long and proud history of Lebanon High School. We are here this morning to honor this graduating class of 2021. At this time, I would like to introduce our special guest behind the podium. Please stand when your name is called. Uh, Dr. Donna Wright, Director of Wilson County Schools. Mr. Larry Tomlinson, Chairman of the Wilson County Board of Education, Zone 5. 
Mr. Bill Robinson, Wilson County Board of Education, Zone 2. Ms. Kimberly McGee, Wilson County Board of Education, Zone 6. Ms. Jamie Farrow, Wilson County Board of Education, Zone 7. And Ms. Carrie Pfeiffer, Wilson County Board of Education, Zone 1. Thank you. A group that it has been a privilege and blessing for me uh, to be their leader is our faculty, assistant principals, and staff. Will you all please stand? I would also like to recognize Mr. Christopher Bergeron, who has been chosen our Teacher of the Year by his peers for Lebanon High School. Please stand, Mr. Bergeron. As you know, this is a tightly knit community and our school leans heavily on it for support and as a source of pride. At this time, I would like for all Lebanon High School alumni in the stadium to please stand. All right. Thank you very much. Now I would like for all of our senior students who are going into military service to please stand. All right. Also, would those in the audience who have served or are presently serving in the military please stand. Thank you for your service. Mr. Thomas Poteet is the 2021 class salutatorian. I have asked Thomas to deliver, to deliver our 2021 welcome address. Good morning, friends, family, and faculty. My name is Thomas Poteet, as you just heard, and I'm honored to be your salutatorian and to kick off our graduation. I know everyone is excited to see their student walk across the stage, so I'll try to make this sweet and short. But first, let me say thank you to the people who have supported me my past four years of high school. Thank you to my family who have loved me no matter what, the irreplaceable friends who can make me smile, rain or shine, and the teachers who have made me into the student I am today, and my dog, Jeep. I couldn't have had anyone else guide me these past four years, so I thank you all. Now, I would like to address my classmates sitting in front of me. This year has been the most difficult academic year we've experienced, and you all have come out the other side stronger. We have not only survived, but we have thrived this year, and that is an accomplishment we can all smile about. However, there will only be tougher hardships ahead, so I wish you all to celebrate your victories now and walk with confidence across this stage. It has been a pleasure being your peer, and I'm excited to see the triumphs you all achieve in your futures. Finally, to the families and teachers that have been the backbone to our class. You all have been patient enough to support us and help us grow as people, and we cannot be more grateful for all that you have done for us. I could spend the entire day praising the amazing faculty and the countless hours they have spent for us, but there's no need, because we all know the special moments deep in our hearts of the graces we were given. I hope you all never forget these moments of your past four years and that they continue to guide you in your futures. When your student receives their diploma, I hope you're half as proud as I am to have them as a classmate and to, be ident and to identify myself as a graduate of the class of 2021. Congratulations, class of 2021. I salute you all. Thank you, Thomas. Will Miss Catherine Duncan now present the literary reading to the class of 2021? Good morning. When I was told that I'm this year's literary reader, I thought it was pretty ironic considering the fact that I haven't willingly read a book since sixth grade. <laughs> Nonetheless, I am honored to be here. This poem comes from the book How Far You Have Come by Morgan Harper Nichols. For in this life there will be many roads we do not take, and on some mornings we wake and find there are bright orange barricades closing off entryways and bridges, lakes, and cityscapes we long to go and see. We have a duty to focus on the road before us, to dream of the destination, but never forget to delight in the drive. 
Record your mother's laughter in your mind, the secret sibling handshakes, and dad's knowing sighs. This is the fuel you'll need to journey wide. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, Catherine. All right, Mr. Zach Bone, the 2021 class valedictorian will now deliver the farewell address. <laughs> For the benefit of all the adults in the audience, I'll address the elephant in the room. Yes, I was planning on imagining every one of you in your underwear. But after getting up here and seeing Dr. Walters, I've abandoned that for the rest of the speech. <laughs> Welcome, families, teachers, faculty, and graduates to Lebanon High School's 2021 graduation. As your valedictorian, I will try to pass along some sage advice. Over the past four years, we've learned a lot. Mr. Swoboda taught us the quadratic formula. <laughs> Ms. Murray taught us the layers of hell. Of course, this was in preparation for virtual classes. Uh, and Mr. Purrier taught us how to sell real estate as a side hustle. <laughs> this information will no doubt serve us well in life, but the most important thing we've learned through our time at Lebanon High School is how to overcome adversity. As freshmen, we could never have anticipated how our class would be impacted. Two years of our high school experience were derailed by a global pandemic. We missed junior prom, senior assemblies, and full student sections at sporting events. But what we missed in school events, we gained a valuable family time. For me, I took this extended family time into account when applying for colleges. My initial goal was to get as far away as possible. <laughs> if I had known about the University of Hawaii, I would have applied there and only there. When you come to an end of a milestone like high school, you tend to look back and review it. One of the first things I learned, and I'm sure many of my classmates learned, that there was not a pool on the roof, even though all the seniors told us it was the best in town. We also learned how to face adversity, blank walls, tornadoes, followed by a global pandemic. These events have forever shaped us as students and young adults, but the class of 2021 was ready and determined to overcome any challenge thrown our way. Aiden Britt became state champion in cross country. Our girls basketball team made it to state three years in a row, and Jude made his canoes. The class of 2021 is truly special. However, we did not overcome these challenges by ourselves. We came to rely on teachers, support staff, parents, siblings, neighbors, and friends more than ever. These are the people in our lives we need to thank. Without them, our high school journey would have been nearly impossible. I personally would like to thank Ms. Mosley because without her, I would not be literate enough to read the speech. So what <laughs> advice can I pass along to you today? It's time for us to prepare for the real world. This means differential equations, locating the nucleus in the cell, and understanding medieval literature. You know, things adults use every day. <laughs> when I look out at my fellow classmates, I see future doctors, lawyers, judges. Okay, never mind. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll all be broke for the next six to seven years. <laughs> One thing we'll be able to say for the rest of our lives is that we graduated and not even a global pandemic could stop us. Thank you and congratulations to the graduates of the class of 2021. Thank you, Zach. Being a part of a community school such as Lebanon High School is something that is very special. Our goal is that every student has an equal opportunity to develop as a total person. We feel that we're big enough to deliver, but still small enough to care. This is the 103rd graduating class from LHS. Of course, they will be remembered for their creative student section themes and their top-rated culinary, FFA, book club, business leader, and athletic skills that earned them trips to state and national competitions. But when I asked teachers what this class will be most remembered for, it was their ability to adapt and persevere that was most noted. Ms. Morgan in the culinary department describes them as rigidly flexible and calls it a leadership quality, which is a great new term. Mr. Porterfield, math teacher extraordinaire, noted their tendency to rise to any challenge and to meet it head on. He says, like a deer in the headlights. And Ms. Knox, who has a heart of gold, says that ultimately they are just good people. 
Although these students' accomplishments and accolades are remarkable, they are a group that has endured what no other class before them has done. They met challenges and adversity that are unique to this particular year in a way that none of us will ever forget. Ms. Murray states that the class of 2021 will forever be remembered for their resilience in the face of one of the toughest years in history. She is grateful to have been a witness to their determination and is proud to have witnessed their perseverance in their journey towards this graduation. And then, of course, if you know Ms. Murray, she apologized for being so dramatic. This class uh, before me took on the high school experience with their heads held high. They've grown from timid and squirrely freshmen that I met in the theater on August 1st, 2017, to the young adults before you today. They have pride in their school, and they make sure others know it. They've taught me a lot about what it means to be a Blue Devil, and that is something that they will not let others take away from them. Most importantly, the class of 2021 has continued to show academic gains that make Lebanon High School one of the best schools in the state of Tennessee. In fact, U.S. News and World Reports has recognized LHS as being one of the best high schools in Tennessee, ranking it in the top 20% and in the top 30% in the nation. This class of 2021 has contributed to that data over the last four years. They have accomplished much and developed many characteristics that will take them, uh, that will always make them special. The commencement program uh, addresses many of these accomplishments. I would like to recognize a few special groups of this class of 405 students. Would the 107 Tennessee scholars please stand and remain standing? That would be more than any other high school in Wilson County, if you care about that kind of information. Remain standing. Would also the 295 Hope Scholars please stand and remain standing. These students have a 3.0 or better GPA. You may be seated, thank you. We are smart. We use our brains until they hurt at the end of the day. We intend every day to leave the building tired from our purposeful work. That has been our goal this year. And of course, every day we wanna learn something. No matter how different our futures may look, this is possible. I know I'm still learning. This class embodies the pride, spirit, tradition, vision we have at LHS. The class of 2021 has 117 students that have a GPA of a 4.0 or better, and an additional 295 that have a 3.0 or better. They've taken advantage of our many advanced placement, dual enrollment, honors, and career tech offerings. They have accepted just at $12 million in scholarship money to attend more than 30 different colleges, technical schools, and universities for just over 90% pursuing post-secondary educational opportunities, 2% in entering the military, and 8% directly into the workforce. Let's give them a round of applause. I'm very proud of this class of 2021 and the faculty and staff that have nurtured them to the outstanding success that, have, that has been attained during their high school careers. This class has met every challenge with character, pride, and dignity. They are expected to be responsible leaders throughout their lives. Class of 2021, would you please stand, all of you, and you're gonna repeat after me. I, state your name, will remember. <laughs> it never gets old. As a graduate of Lebanon High School, to live my life with a pride in self, a spirit to succeed, and a tradition of excellence. Remain standing. This is a very special time, and I would encourage everyone to show honor and dignity towards our graduates. 
I would like to make a statement at this time regarding decorum. We have many family members and friends who have traveled long distances to see a moment that lasts about 10 seconds. Although we are currently using an athletic arena as our stage, please remember that this is not an athletic event, but a formal ceremony that lasts but a short time. We wish to treat this occasion with formality and sophistication. Applause for each graduate should be kept to a minimum without the use of air horns or noisemakers until the appropriate time. After each name is called, there will be a slight pause before moving on to the next name. Since this is an important time for LHS, we want every family to enjoy and take great pride uh, when their graduate's name is called as they cross the stage to receive their diploma. At the appropriate time, we will then allow a moment for what I will call unrestrained jubilation. And I hope that they can hear you all the way in Nashville. We are gonna prepare now for the presentation of our diplomas. Dr. Wright, if you would join me at the podium. It is with great pride that I present to you a highly motivated, collaborative thinking, problem-solving class of future leaders that are extremely proud to have completed their high school career, the Lebanon High School class of 2021. Are we ready? By the authority vested in me by the State Board of Education and the Wilson County School Board, I have searched or caused to be searched the records on file of each of the seniors whose names shall be publicly announced, and I will certify that each of these students has met at least the minimum requirements for graduation from Lebanon High School, as established by each of the previously mentioned agencies and is eligible to receive a diploma of graduation. In the eyes of the principals and teachers of this school, we have determined that the following students have attained and approved attendance, conduct, and subject matter record, which covers a 12-year program as established by the records on file in the offices of Lebanon High School. Uh, we have asked Mr. Bergeron to come up and lead us in the traditional tassel ceremony. As a member of the Lebanon High School faculty, it is a pleasure to be involved in the Lebanon High School class of 2021 graduation. We are extremely proud of what each of you has accomplished. At this time, please stand and join me in the traditional tassel ceremony. Seniors, move your tassel from right to left. Thank you, Mr. Bergeron. All right, now y'all gotta stay put. We got a few more things to talk about. I would now like to invite Lebanon High School senior choir members to lead us in the alma mater. Scholarship to the cleave. Now, as lovingly we depart, thou wilt ever be in our heart. Praise we raise for all to see. Praise esteem eternally. As the years go by, we'll be true to our Lebanon white and blue. Now everybody, now everybody, I'm not on. Hello, hello, hello. Hawks, hello. Hello. Hold on, stay put. I'm, I'm not on. Stay put, stay put. All right, everybody, 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 stay put. 
Everybody, it's time to make some noise for the graduating class of 2021. An old proverb states, hold on to instruction, do not let it go. Guard it well, for it is your life. And Dr. Seuss tells you, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know, and you are the one who will decide where to go. As always, graduates, it is important for you to remember who you are where you come from and who you represent. I know you'll all go out to this world and make us look good. And although after today, you are no longer students at Lebanon High School, remember that once a Blue Devil, always a Blue Devil.